happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. And today, somehow, for the first time ever on this channel, we got a little Loretta Lynn reaction to her song, Fist City, brought to you by a friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. You'd like to support us in any way? Check out that Patreon link below, the patron link on the Instagram. We're running a free trial right now. You can go check it out. Do some cool stuff for you over there. All right. Like I said, we've never had a little Loretta Lynn up. I know who she is, obviously. But uh, I went on one of her songs, I think. And Cheryl had a great little story about how this song is important to her. She said, I was about eight years old, and my mother was in the process of teaching me how a proper girl should act. And later that night, I saw Loretta Lynn singing Fist City. I've always said that my mom gave me my manners, and Loretta Lynn gave me my attitude. I just I thought that was great. Because this song has a fantastic story behind it. It's First of all, it's one of several songs that got her banned from the radio in the 60s for her controversial themes. She wrote it in response to a woman who began pursuing her husband, Doolittle, while she was out touring. So it's kind of the opposite, right? You think the artist is out touring, cheating on their spouse, but this was a, a total reversal of roles where the spouse is at home, but it's still the man who's at the center of this, right? Doing the wrong. Their marriage was often tumultuous. He threw her out of the house early in the relationship for her bad cooking. Well, already he should have left. She found out, however, he was seeing a woman with whom he had been previously involved and blamed Loretta for driving her away. She wrote a letter to the other woman who prompt, a woman who prompted, who promptly showed it to Doolittle, who confronted Loretta, telling her to stay out of his business and that any love he had for her was gone. She wrote that his statement broke her heart and the experience eventually led her to writing this song and the similar You Ain't Woman Enough. This was her second number one hit released under Decca Records. It comes off the album of the same name. She was, uh, it's her second of 16 number ones that she had during her career. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a short song of songs back then were, but uh, the content of it uh, is got to be fantastic. All the lyrics up as always. Thanks again, Cheryl. Uh, you've been uh, making your brags around town that you've been uh, loving my man. But the man I love when he picks up trash He puts it in a garbage can And that's what you look like to me And what I see is a pity You better close your face and stay out of my way If you don't want to go to this city If you don't want to go to this city You better detour around my town Cause I'll grab you by the hair of the head Come on and tell me what you told my friends If you think you're brave enough And I'll show you what a real woman is Since you think you're a hot stuff You'll bite off more than you can chew If you get too cute or witty You better move your feet If you don't want to eat a meal that's coffee city If you don't want to go to Fish City you better detour around my town Cause I'll grab you by the hair of the head And I'll lift you off of the ground I'm not a send my baby's a saint Cause he ain't that he won't pat around with a kitty I'm here to tell you gotta lay off of my man If you don't wanna go to this city I'm here to tell you gotta lay off of my man That song was absolute fire. The lyrics of that song were absolute fire. First one, you've been making your brags around town that you've been a loving my man. But the man I love, when he picks up trash, he puts it in a garbage can. And that's what you look like to me. And what a pity. And what I see is a pity. You better close your face and stay out of my way if you don't want to go to Fist City. Then we get into that course. If you don't want to go to Fist City, you better detour around my town because I'll grab you by the hair of your head and lift you off the ground. She's saying, you know, she knows her husband, Doolittle's not a saint, but you better stay away from him. And, you know, she told 
Loretta's friends some stuff. She dares her to tell her. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a fantastic song, man. She packs so much into two minutes and 13 seconds. Some artists of today could take a, uh, take lessons from these artists that wrote songs in the 60s that actually had a lot to say and packed it into a short amount of time. It's quite enjoyable. All right. Fantastic Loretta Lynn song. Thank you to Cheryl for bringing this one. Thank you to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this song down below and some other Loretta stuff I should check out. Until next time, guys, I will see you.